Hello everyone and welcome to Prof Talks. In today's presentation, we'll be talking about the warning letter which is issued to the Intas Pharmaceutical Sanand Gujarat facility and was published on 28 July 2023. The warning letter is referenced as 3202320 and it was issued on July 28, 2023. So it is for FEI number 3004011473 for the uh, Sanat facility of uh, Intas for the inspection conducted from November 22 to December 2, 2022. Okay, and this warning letter summarizes various observations that has been cited. The FDA reviewed the response uh, that the firm submitted on December 27, 2022, but was not satisfied with the response. It should be noted that the facility has been placed onto an import alert from June 2023, and this warning letter is against the violations for the inspection conducted. Warning letter is against five observations. So the first of it is quality control unit failed to exercise its responsibility. So there are three observations under it, the three four eight threes. So the firm failed to ensure reliability of the data. There was inadequate oversight of the original GMP documents, deficient controls of a computerized system, insufficient laboratory investigations and aborted chromatographic practices. The senior management failed to exercise their authorities and responsibilities and hence there were data integrity concerns noted. Also, the quality assurance function is not exercising its responsibilities. Before moving ahead, please ensure that you have subscribed to the channel Prof Talks and have pressed the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of upcoming presentations. So, the first example under the quality unit failed to exercise its responsibility included you failed to assure integrity of analytical testing data and gave some examples like torn documents and discarded original GMP documents were found into the scrap area inside the stairwell of the quality control lab as well as in the general parental scrap room and a truck was standing outside of the facility okay in then another example the analyst destroyed the records uh, GMP record by pouring acetic acid in a trash bin and it was reported by one QC analyst other person that this person has do, uh, done such activity on November 22nd but no deviation or investigation was logged till 28th November that is six days after the reporting of the event. An analyst weighed the samples uh, multiple times, however, did not report all the test results. Okay. Further, there were some instances where balance printouts were discarded in the trash. Also, the timestamp on each analytical balance printout did not match with the analytical information uh, with the LEMS record. So the firm submitted response, but the FDA was not uh, uh, in uh, compliance with the response. So it stated that did not fully evaluate the scope of the deficiency and the impact on the product quality. Also did not adequately address the major failure of laboratory operations and quality assurance management to conduct proper oversight. So the second example under the first 483 is the department failed to exercise appropriate controls over the computerized system. Okay, so the electronic batch records allow changes to be made uh, to the manual entries prior to saving and it was observed during the inspection. Also the changes uh, that is audit trail were not reviewed by the quality assurance as a part of batch record review. Analyst manually processed the chromatograms by adding some integration parameters. Also, the procedures were deficient, uh, but did not describe when analyst can manually input the parameters. So, uh, there was one another example where KF raw data paper prints out was uh, destroyed by the analyst and it was observed during the notification uh, and the data documents were recovered into a trash bin. Uh, again, the KF has a facility for storage of the electronic record, but this capacity was not utilized by the firm. In 2018, the firm carried out an assessment for the equipment to uh, identify the deficiencies with reference to the computerized system and noted uh, the gaps, a number of gaps into the uh, computerized system which needed access control upgrade, audit trails, saving electronic data, etc. and CAPAs were uh, logged for it. However, they did not document the closures of this corrective and preventive action. Also, the QA department had not performed a similar assessment for the QC laboratories. So for the summary of the first 483, it stated that the firm provided a response where they acknowledged the inspection finding and stated that there's a procedure of data integrity in place. Also committed to obtaining an expertise from qualified consultant. However, the response was uh, noted as inadequate by the US FDA because although established procedures are there, they did not explain the critical failures of the laboratory and the operation management in not providing adequate oversight of the data integrity of computerized system. Also, there was a failure of the QA department to 
fully exercise its authority and responsibilities to ensure integrity of all data related to the manufacturing and quality. The third observation under the firm 483, firm failed to have adequate oversight of laboratory investigation and implement systematic CAPA to address high number of aborted chromatographic sequences. So the first example include the firm invalidated multiple OOS without adequate scientific justification, prepared the new samples and reported the passing result. However, uh, it was unable to uh, determine why the other samples in the same sequence were prepared by the same method were not impacted uh, and they did not have any justification. And from January 20, 2020 to November 2022, the firm aborted a number of chromatographic sequences. However, each incident was investigated, but there was no adequate trending and systematic CAPA to evaluate and identify the recurring issues. Okay. In response, the firm provided some justifications, but the US FDA noted it as inadequate because they did not adequately address how they will implement systems to identify and address adverse laboratory incident trends or provide an overall management strategy for improving all phases of laboratory investigation. FDA recommended that in response to this letter, the firm should provide a comprehensive assessment and a remediation plan to ensure that QA department is given authority and resources to function effectively. All right, a determination of whether procedure used by the firms are robust, provisions of QA oversight throughout the operation, a complete and final review of each batch and the related documentation, oversight and approval of investigations, and one of the most important point on how top management supports quality assurance and reliable operations, including but not limited to timely provisions of resources to proactively address the deficiencies. The second point that the US FDA expect is a retrospective independent review of all invalidated OOS to determine whether a scientific justification and evidence has been provided for all the invalidated OOS results. For investigation that establishes the root cause, there should be provided a rationale and ensure that all other methods vulnerable to similar root cause are remediated. Wherever there is uh, no root cause, inclusive root cause identified, then there should be a thorough review of the production. Uh, other manufacturing steps, raw materials, process capabilities, provide a summary of potential manufacturing root causes for each investigation. The third thing that the FDA recommends is a comprehensive and independent assessment and CAPA plan for the computerized system. Okay, so firstly, they want a list of all the hardwares that include all equipments, identification of the vulnerabilities in the hardware and the software, whether it is a network system or a non network system, a list of all computer softwares, configurations their user level access, oversight responsibilities, then system security provisions, including whether unique usernames of password have been provided, detailed procedure for robust username and review of the audit trails, interim control measures and procedural changes for control and retention of the laboratory data. Apart from the interim measures, they also needed a more comprehensive and a sustainable CAPA for retention of all the CGMP data, technological improvements, the second observation was the firm failed to ensure that the laboratory records included complete data derived from all tests. So in this it stated that the colony counting units for the environmental monitoring data were not counted accurately because when the investigator reviewed the data immediately after the review. So the reported results and the actual colonies that were uh, not matching and hence there was under reporting of the colony forming units. Also during the laboratory data record some data was found missing like the pH printouts or uh, some uh, test printout. So these instruments do not have any uh, audit trail facility. Hence lack of the printout of this instrument is a serious concern. So for the second observation, US FDA states that uh, the firm has acknowledged that the counting practice of uh, the CFUs is inappropriate and are uh, committed to work with the third party consultants. Also, they have provided that the printouts were unable to be found out, but they were unable to determine the root cause. So USFD has determined the response inadequate because they did not provide the open investigation or updates to the investigation and also did not commit to confirm a retrospective review uh, or a risk assessment of the personnel environmental monitoring data. So did not commit to investigate the impact on the missing laboratory data on the process validation batches. So the FDA expects that in response to the letter, a complete assessment of the documentation system should be carried out both in the manufacturing as well as the laboratory operation and emphasis 
emphasis should be given to all the alcoa principles of the data integrity as well as a comprehensive independent assessment of the overall system for investigating any discrepancies like deviation uh, complaints os etc with a detailed action plan to remediate the system the action plan should include significant improvement to the investigation competencies scope determination root cause evaluation carpa effectiveness etc and also the firm has to address that how will ensure all phases of investigation are properly conducted the third observation cited in the warning letter is the firm failed to establish and follow required laboratory control mechanisms so in this it was uh, noted during inspection that analysts were entering manual integration events which were yielding to the passing results so uh, the investigators also noted that the procedure for the chromatographic practices was insufficient because it did not identify when the analyst can put an integration event uh, manually also there was a lack uh, a requirement for supervisory approval and other controls such as data review when manual integration was carried out so response was submitted but the fda determined the response to be as inadequate because the firm did not commit to performing a retrospective review of the all chromatographic data associated with manual integration also they did not adequately address the oversight of the qc laboratory by the qa department they have stated that an independent third party audit is ongoing but they did not define the scope of the uh, scope and the activities of the third party auditing so for the third 483 or the uh, uh, observation it is stated that in response to the letter the firm should provide a comprehensive independent assessment of the laboratory practices procedures methods equipment to ensure they have appropriate instructions methods suitability criteria okay based on this review provide the detailed plan to remediate and evaluate the effectiveness of the entire laboratory system a comprehensive review and remediation plan for the out of specification investigation including the capa plan but not limited to the quality oversight of the laboratory investigation identification of adverse laboratory uh, control trends resolution of causes of laboratory variation initiation of thorough investigation for potential manufacturing causes adequate scoping of each investigation and its capas and revising the os investigation procedures with all these remediations fourth observation in the warning letter cites that failed to establish adequate return procedures for production and process control so in this it is stated that the firm was uh, unable to determine the inter batch or intra batch variability during the process validation there is an example cited here where a fourth validation batch was taken after three validation batches to evaluate the related substance test uh, for some specific reason so there was an os identified into the related substance test and this batch was not referenced or discussed into the validation summary report a further fifth validation batch was taken and this validation batch was included into the uh, validation summary however this fourth validation batch was uh, rejected so the firm provided a response but the response is not adequate because it did not address the omission of the fourth process validation batch also uh, the capa did not include evaluation of other drug product uh, process validation studies that may have a similar deficiency in response to this fourth observation the fda expects that the firm should provide a comprehensive independent assessment of the validation program including a description of the overall program a detailed description of how the rigorous performance uh, qualification studies are being carried out how intra batch variability and inter batch variability is being defined how the uniformity will be ensured vigilant ongoing monitoring of the process performance throughout the life cycle including the mechanism to ensure ongoing attention of both inter batch and inter batch variation appropriate sampling methods and frequency throughout the process scrutiny of the raw material variability from suppliers quality signals from both internal and external customers how the quality system integrates with the ongoing knowledge and based on this assessment they should provide a capa to address the deficiency into the validation program the fifth observation cited is the firm failed to establish the accuracy sensitivity specificity and reproducibility of its test method so in this it is stated that firm failed to uh, establish uh, the method validation or verification so there were multiple in house methods and compendial methods for the raw materials that were not not validated in the response the firm stated and acknowledged that they are committed to validate all the materials that are being uh, methods that are being used for the testing however the response is inadequate and in the response to this letter uh, the firm should provide a detailed independent assessment of all the test method to include if they are sufficiently specific to ensure repeatability and supported by adequate validation the assessment should also determine whether test methods used in the stability program are stability indicating and the scope should encompass any test conducted by the firm or by the third parties 
from this observation a specific point on data integrity remediation have been cited so uh, the us fda uh, expresses a concern that there has been data integrity violations and it has acknowledged that the firm is working with third party consultants to remediate through it but in response to this letter for specifically with reference to the data integrity us fda expects a comprehensive investigation into the extent of inaccuracies in data records <clears throat> a detailed investigation protocol and methodology interview of the current and the former employers to understand the nature and scope and the root cause okay and assessment of the extent of integrity like the omissions alterations deletions destructions a comprehensive retrospective evaluation of the nature of testing and manufacturing data integrity deficiencies right and a current risk assessment on the potential effect of the observed failure onto the quality of the product apart from this under data integrity remediation it states that there should be a management strategy that includes the details of the global corrective and preventive action plan which is inclusive of the detailed corrective action plan on describing how they are going to ensure the reliability and completeness of the data a comprehensive description of the root cause interim measures to control immediately long term measures to remediate the potential uh, data integrity issues a commitment to have qualified consultant extensive audits annually and they have to inform fda if they are uh, planning to hire chief uh, integrity officer who is fully empowered to maintain anonymity of the employees who report data integrity and an overall status report of the above activities that are already completed or underway warning letter also cites reference of the repeated observations in the facility and states that same type of observations have been noted in the previous inspection in may 2019 and repeated failure demonstrate that executive management oversight and control is inadequate it also states about the ineffective quality system like the number of and the type of observation noted in this letter demonstrate that the quality system is not functioning properly there is lack of effective production and laboratory operations oversight and the quality unit is unable to exercise its power and authority for uh, and the appropriate responsibilities the executive management should immediately and comprehensively assess the manufacturing operations to ensure that system is brought in the state of control as per the fda requirements warning letter also discusses about the out of specification it specifically states that the us fda guidance for the out of specification investigation the current uh, revision should be referred we have a detailed presentation i'll paste a link into the description box so you can have a review of it it states that the possible laboratory error in sufficient is insufficient to close an investigation in phase 1 whenever appropriate or a definitive laboratory error is not identified a thorough investigation for potential manufacturing causes should be performed it now again describes the importance of the process validation and states that is very essential to ensure proper and adequate process validation and performance process verification to have a state of control throughout the product life cycle conclusion is similar like in the other us fda warning letters wherein it states the violations are not inclusive the firm is responsible for determining other violations and investigate the same if the firm is considering action that is likely to disrupt the supply then they should uh, notify and consult the fda drug shortage department however the firm is already posted on import alert as discussed earlier in june 2023 the current violations if they are not addressed properly fda may withhold the uh, approvals of new applications or the pending applications and failure to address all the deficiencies properly may result to uh, continuing the import alert it also states that the firm has 15 working days to respond and they should provide additional information also they have given an electronic reply address where specifying the fei number the response can be submitted and it has been signed by francis godwin director office of manufacturing quality office of compliance cder we come to the end of this presentation hope you have liked the presentation kindly subscribe to the channel prof talks for more such informative videos